In this video, we'll discuss how to email an e-sign lease and the process that revolves around that. The first thing is doing a typical move-in, choosing your unit, choosing your tenant or adding a tenant, saving the information, clicking on e-sign, and then choosing the email link option. The tenant's email address will populate. I'm going to put in a test email here. Click OK. That's emailing the document. We must finish the move-in. Once in the customer's email, they are going to log in and see the document that has come to them. So again, this is the customer side that's receiving this email. They're going to click on the email and then click on the link. They click on the link and fill out their part of the document. In this particular uh, rental agreement, we have a yes or no option that they must check. We have to put in the signature or choose predefined font. So predefined font or draw. Click accept. Continue through the rest of the document. It has a question here. Are you uh, part of the United States Armed Forces? Yes or no? When they have completed, they're going to click Confirm Signing. If they want to look at the document and sign part of it and come back to it later, they can click Save and then come back to the lease at their convenience to sign it. But to finalize the actual lease, they'll need to sign where appropriate, click Yes or No if you have those options, and then click Confirm Signing. It's then going to prompt a message telling the customer that there is still one signer remaining. In this particular lease, we have it that the manager must, si must sign. We then go into the SiteLink program, and we're going to see that there is an option in the reminder screen saying waiting for signature, which takes us to our eSign console or we could have accessed the screen by going into SiteLink under the company eSign console screen. There is an option here that says awaiting manager's signature. The particular example that I gave is listed here. The tenant has signed their lease, now it's waiting for the manager to sign the lease. Please give the manager control to view and sign the document, click continue. Now the manager must go through and sign. And then they can either use the predefined front or draw. When they're finished, they're going to confirm signing. We can either email, print, or download a copy of it. I'm going to just close it. Once we click refresh, you're going to see that that's now part of the completed option. If we came to this console and we looked at the out for tenant signature, this means that an email was sent to the tenant and they have not signed it yet. If the tenant contacts you and says they did not receive the email, simply click on the respective tenant and choose actions at the top of the screen, click email, and now you're resending them the lease. 